and welcome to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol. I'm so glad you joined us today. So check out the sections on the Bottoms Down YouTube channel homepage that just make it easier for you to find classes by length or purpose or by body area. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. It's free and I'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment. Now in today's practice, we're going to explore poses for core strength. You'll need your chair and a ball. Now, if you don't have a ball, you can substitute a toilet paper roll, or you can just do the class without it. So let's put our ball under our chair and let's get started. So we're going to start with that grounding. So we take a moment to think about our feet and having all four pressure points of both feet equally weighted on the floor. So we're grounding those to the earth. Next, we're going to ground our sits bones. So we have these pointy bones that we sit on, and I want you to have them equally weighted on the chair so you're not leaning one way or the other. Let's go ahead and lift our heart. Pull that belly button into the spine. Lower those shoulders. Close your eyes and connect to your breath. Drawing your attention to your heart center, letting go of everything outside of the room. Feeling your natural inhalation and exhalation. And let's elongate that breath. We're going to inhale a little more deeply. Exhale a little more completely. Bring your hands to your heart and set your intentions for today's practice. One more breath here. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. We're going to take our shoulders and we're just going to shrug them up into our ears. And then we're going to let them just fall. Let gravity do its job. Let's shrug those shoulders up into the ears and just let them fall. Let's do that one more time. Shrug those shoulders up into the ears and just let them fall. Nice. Let your right ear fall towards the right shoulder. And then you're just going to reach up and lightly place your hand on that head. Now don't pull or tug. Just let that head, you know, let the hand on the head create a little bit of gravity. One more breath here. Let's take that hand off of the head and go ahead and bring that head up. Oof. And let's go to the other side. So first of all, we're just letting the ear fall towards the shoulder. And then all we're going to do is just reach up and place our hand on our head. Okay, don't pull or tug. Just let the weight of the hand create a little extra stretch. You feeling it? I am. Okay, one more breath here. Take the hand off first. Bring that head up. Mmm, that should feel really good. All right, let's go ahead. Final thing is we're going to tuck our chin down and we're just going to look at our lap. So we want to give that one final stretch for that neck. All right, beautiful. So we're going to come into a cat and a cow pose. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring our hands to our heart and I want you to extend through the spine and really feel the throat opening, okay? Now, we're going to move into a cat pose. So let's put our hands on our thighs, pull our belly button to our spine, round the shoulders, tuck the chin, and look down at your lap. Now, we're going to lift our heart up. Remember, thinking about open throat here. Grab the back of the chair and lift that heart. So I'm kind of pulling gently on the back of the chair to give my heart a little bit more openness. Let's do that again. Round down into your cat pose. Mm 
and we're gonna lift up into cow pose. Let's add that yoga breath. Inhale here, exhale, round it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, round it down. Last time. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, round it down. And release. Let's grab a sip of water. Okay, so grab your ball and place it right by the chair leg on the left side. Okay? All right. So we're going to move into a warrior two pose. So we're going to take this knee and we're going to open it up. Then I want you to extend that leg and come to the knife edge of that foot. I call it the knife edge. So you're not pointing the toe with the leg extended like this. I want you to turn so that you're on the edge of that foot and you should feel the outer thigh of this leg, okay? This foot is just, this knee is at that 90 degree angle, so straight forward. All right, you kind of feeling that? You should be feeling a good stretch on the inner thigh. The outer thigh should be working too. Do you feel that? Okay, let's lengthen through the spine, crown of the head to the ceiling, bring those arms out, squeeze the muscles against the bones in the arms. So we're activating the tricep muscle here. Activate that muscle, squeeze extending through those arms. You feel that? So it's a beautiful warrior too. It's a super strong pose. Belly is tight. We're going to flip this palm up to the ceiling and we're going to reverse that warrior up and back. There's a nice stretch for the side waist. We're going to come back to the warrior two. Now we're going to take this hand and we're going to bring it down and we're going to place it on the ball. So there's a nice version of a side angle pose. Okay. Now, if that doesn't feel good to you, if that's a little bit too much, then you're just going to come up and you're going to place your hand on that thigh. Okay. So it's fine. If you would prefer to stay here, that's absolutely fine. But if you're with me, I'm going to have my hand down on that ball. I'm stretching through. I'm feeling this side waist is working right here, right? That's the side waist that you should be feeling. The stretch and the work. One more breath. Take, your, take a deep breath in. Pull your belly button to your spine. We're going to move back to that warrior two. Squeezing the muscles against the bones in those arms. I'm going to flip this palm up and I'm going to reverse that warrior again. Feel that stretch in that side waist. We're going to come back to that side angle pose, your version. You can be here or you can have that hand down. This arm extends. Feeling that stretch? We're going to take this hand that's in the air and we're going to bring it over. This is a pretty intense stretch, so just if that doesn't work for you, leave it extended out to the side. It's okay. One more breath. Okay, this hand is going to extend back out again. We're going to press back to that warrior two. Squeeze the muscles against the bones in those arms. Activate those triceps. One more breath. Bring those hands in. Bring this leg in and release. How does that feel? Right? I always say this in my classes. If somebody just watches one a person doing this, they think, well, there's absolutely nothing to that. I encourage you to ask them to do it and then tell me that there's nothing to it. <laughs> All right, let's move that ball to the other side. Okay, we're going to start in that warrior two. So we're going to take this knee and we're going to open it wide. Then we're going to move, we're going to extend this leg long and we'll be on the knife edge of that foot, okay? Outer thigh is working, inner thigh is working, 
Belly is tight. Extend those arms out into that beautiful warrior two. I'm squeezing the muscles against the bones in those arms. Let's reverse that warrior. We're going to flip that front palm up and we're going to reverse that warrior. There's that side waist. You feel that stretch? So not only are we stretching it, but we're working those muscles. Pull that belly button in, come back to that warrior two, and we're going to let this hand fall down. Either it's on your thigh, or if it feels okay, you're going to bring that hand down to that ball. And we're extending. We just have one more breath here. Let's press back up to that warrior two. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Flip that palm up. Let's reverse that warrior. Up we go. Back to that warrior two. Let's come back down to that side angle pose. All right, remember that add on? Bringing that arm across. Only if it feels good. Only if it feels like it works for you. Your belly should be tight though. One more breath here. Bring that arm back out. Press back to that warrior two. Squeeze, 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 and release. <sighs> All right. Let's just place our ball back underneath our chair. Now, we're going to turn and we're going to face to the right. Okay? This is called a, this is a, a series where we're going to be doing a windmill twist. All right? So just so you kind of have an idea of where we're headed. We're going to start with our hands at heart, okay? So I'm, I'm facing this direction. My knees are that direction. My hips are that direction. I'm bringing my hands to my heart. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to twist and look over the back of my chair. My knees do not move. My hips stay where they are. Twist is happening right at the rib cage. Let's go ahead and come center, and we're going to twist the other way. You feel it? Are your knees staying where they are? You're not moving the knees or the hips? Let's come back center. All right, we're going to do that one more time. We're going to twist, and we're going to come center, and we're going to twist the other way, and we're going to come center. Keep your hands at heart. Let your heart fall forward, lengthening through the spine, Spine is long, head towards the wall in front of you, press up, and release. Okay, so there's a great version right there. And if you want to stick with that version, perfect. If you want to add on with me, the big difference is we're going to extend our arms. So anytime you have your arms long, you've got a super long lever, and it's going to put more pressure on the back. It's going to make you work your back more and it's going to make you work your belly more, okay, and side waist muscles. So we're going to be working all of these muscles harder because we have a long lever length. But you can always keep your hands at heart. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Hands to the ceiling. Extend those hands up. Shoulders are down. Belly is tight. Take a deep breath in. And on an exhale, we're going to take this hand, we're going to windmill, and we're looking over the back of our chair and our arms are nice and wide. I probably should have gone the other direction so you could see what I'm doing. Let's come back up to the ceiling, and now let's windmill the other way. Now you see what I'm doing, don't you? <laughs> I had us go over the back of the chair first. That's okay. Back up to the ceiling we go. Let's twist and look over the back of our chair, and our arms are wide. Hands back up to the ceiling. We're going to twist the other direction. We're working out of our core muscles. Back up to the ceiling. All right, are we ready? We're going to lean forward, belly button to spine. Protect that low back. Hands are out in front of you. Remember, you can always keep hands at heart. Pressing all the way up to the ceiling. Bring those hands back down and take a break. Okay, so the last version of this, all we're going to do is when we get, and let me just show you real quick since I tend to be going the wrong direction. Our hands will keep coming up and we're going to twist. Now, we're going to take our palms. You see what I'm doing? My palms are facing forward and then we're going to open. We're pressing the backs of our hands back. Does that make sense? Super intense stretch. So only do what works for you. All right? And we're going to come back up and we'll do that same thing on both sides. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Hands to the ceiling. Let's twist. 
twist and face me first. <laughs> Backs of the pants towards the wall. Squeeze those shoulder blades behind you. Bring those hands back up to the ceiling. We're going on. We're going to twist and look over the back of the chair. Arms are wide. Press the backs of those palms to back to the back wall. Up we go. Let's do that one more time. We're going to twist. Windmill twist. Press the backs of the hands back. Hands to the ceiling. Twist the other way. Backs of those hands. Press it back. Hands to the ceiling, are we ready? Extend all over those bent knees. Pressing up, bring your hands back down and release. All right, let's face forward. You feeling okay? Yeah? All right, so now we're gonna grab our chair. Ha! We're gonna grab our ball. We're going to come forward towards the edge of our chair and we're going to place the ball between our knees. Okay. Now, we're going to do move into a chair pose. So in our chair pose, we want to have our feet back. So if your feet are too far forward, it's really, it's almost impossible. So you want to bring those feet back, keeping the knees still uh, behind the toes. You've got that ball between the knees. We're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to act like we're getting up off the chair, but we're not. Bring your hands to your heart. Press those palms together. Squeeze that ball. One more breath, and we're going to release that. And we're going to do that one more time, just like that, keeping those hips on the chair. We're going to activate the belly. Act like we're going to get off the chair. Activate those quadricep muscles. Press those palms together. Squeeze that ball. Lots going on here. One more breath and we're going to release. Final time like that before we add on. Here we go. Act like you're going to get out of the chair. Activate quads. Belly is tight. Palms are pressing. Squeeze that ball. One more breath and release. Okay. This time we're going to go ahead and get up off that chair. All right. And then where we're going with this is we're going to do some heel uh, lifts off the floor. But we're going to go through it a couple of times first before we start adding that in because we're going to end up in a toe stand, which is a total balance challenge. But you've got your chair, right? You can do it or not do it, but I'll lead us through it, the whole thing. All right, are we ready? Did I give you enough of a break? Okay, here we go. We're going to take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, we're going to go ahead and come up out of that chair into your chair pose. Remember, hips are back, right? Knees are behind toes. So, and heart is lifted. So I'm not down here. I'm lifting up, activating my core, quads are working, palms are together. Squeeze that ball. One more breath, release that ball. Squeeze that ball. One more breath, release that ball. Last time, squeeze that ball. One more breath, release that ball. Have a seat and take a break. You can actually move the ball if you wanna really give those legs a break. Okay, we're going to do it just like that one more time before we add our, to our uh, heel lifts. Okay, put that ball there. Belly is tight. Hands at heart. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, up we go into chair pose. Hips are back. Heart is lifted. Belly is tight. Squeeze that ball and release it. Squeeze that ball and release it. Squeeze that ball and release it. Have a seat and take a break. Ha! <sighs> okay, so now we're going to do our heel, heel lifts without coming up, just to get a feel for it, and then we'll do it the full shebang. Okay, so I'm going to bring my hands to my heart. I want to act like I'm getting off the chair, but I'm not. Ready? Activating everything. Here we go. Lift that right heel up, put it down. Lift that left heel up, put it down. Left up and down. Right up and down. Right up and down, left up and down. Last time, up and down and up and down and take a break. Okay, you're squeezing the ball. You're at getting up off the chair this time and we're gonna do those heel stands. I'm sorry, toe stands. <laughs> Lifting the heel off the floor, it's a toe stand. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, up out of the chair we go. We're squeezing that ball. Are we ready? Here we go. Lift to heel up, put it down. Lift to heel up and put it down. Squeeze that ball. Lift to heel up, put it down. 
lift a heel up, put it down. Listen, lift a heel up, lift the other heel up, hold and breathe. Ah! Put one down, put the other one down. Here we go. Lift, lift, hold and breathe. Ah! Down and down. Last time. Lift, lift, hold and breathe. Toe stand. One more breath. Down, down, and have a seat. Whew. Let's put the ball under the chair and let's grab a sip of water. Okay, if you would grab your ball and we're gonna place it right between our feet. Okay, we're gonna, and remember, if you don't have a ball, it's fine, it's okay. Let's heel toe our feet, heel toe, heel toe, our feet wide, all right? Now, what you're going to do is you're gonna have your hands on the thighs first, and you're just gonna hinge forward, okay? Keeping those arms, hands right on the thighs for some support. You feel your inner thighs working, right? Okay, press through those heels and go ahead and lift the heart back up. Okay, let's do that one more time. Down we go. Belly button is to the spine, working those abdominals. And we're gonna lift back up. Okay, so you can stay right there if that feels good for you. If you're with me, we're gonna pull our belly button in, we're gonna hinge forward and we're gonna place those hands on the ball, okay? If you don't have the hand of a ball, you can have your hands on the floor or you can have your hands on your thighs. Either is fine, okay? Now, if your hand is on the ball, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your left hand, you're gonna place it right under your face and you're gonna twist open with that opposite arm. And you're gonna come down and you're gonna place that hand on the ball and you're gonna twist open the other side. And you're gonna come down and you're gonna pull your belly button in and you're gonna roll it up nice and slow. Now I wanna show you what you're going to do if you don't have a ball, right? If your hands are on the thighs, you're coming down. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist. You see what I'm doing? I'm taking this elbow down and I'm coming up and I'm taking that other elbow down and I'm coming up, okay? And roll it up. All right, let's do that one more time. Here we go. Roll down, hands on the ball or whatever placement works for you. Here we go, we're gonna twist it open. We're gonna come back down. We're gonna twist it open the other way. We're gonna come back down, belly button to spine, and we're gonna roll it up nice and slow. All right, how does that feel? Good, let's go ahead and heel toe those feet back in together. You're probably feeling a little inner thigh stretch there, outer thigh working, belly working. Grab your ball. Again, if you don't have a ball, don't worry about it. Your feet are on the floor. Take that ball in that right hand, all right? We're gonna lift our knee to tabletop. We're gonna take the ball and pass it under that leg, and we're gonna open it the other way. And we're gonna pass, and we're gonna open. And we're gonna pass, and we're gonna open, and we're gonna pass. Are you working your abdominals? You should be. And open, and pass, and open and pass, and open, last time, pass, and open. Take just a little break, bring that ball in. You good? Okay, can we do that one more time? Let's do it, here we go. And pass, and open, and pass, and open, and pass, and open, and pass, and open. Two more, we got this. Last one, we gotta do two sides, right? and release, very, very good. Okay, so keep your ball right here. Um, we're gonna move into a crescent lunge and we're gonna use our ball. So just hang on to it, take that knee and open it nice and wide. Let this knee fall down, okay? Press that foot back behind you. Grab your hands, the ball at heart, all right? So remember, you can have that knee straight down to the floor if that feels better for you, or you can be on those back toes with the back knee pressing up against the ceiling. Whichever works for you, heart is lifted. Inhale here, exhale, hands to the ceiling. Now this is only an option if you wanna do it. Inhale here, exhale, hands come out and over. Inhale here, exhale, up we go. 
Grab the ball in that left hand and open it up wide. You're looking at the ceiling. Hands back to the ceiling. Out we go. Hands to the ceiling. Grab the ball in the other hand and look up at the ceiling. Extend and release. Face forward. Extend this leg out in front of you. Lengthen through the spine. Ball is forward. Take that ball forward towards the toes. Inhale here, exhale up we go. Inhale here, extend and hinge. And up we go. Really, really good. Pyramid pose, okay. So now we're gonna move into pigeon. So we're gonna take our ankle to ankle or our ankle to knee. Let's just place the ball in our lap for now. Extend the spine long and let that heart fall forward. Feel that stretch right here in the hip and glute. Go ahead and lift the heart up. Let's flutter that butterfly a little bit, butterfly wing. Let's do that again. Extend, belly's tight and hinge. Go ahead and lift it up and release. Okay, other side. That knee is going to open up nice and wide. This knee is going to fall towards the floor. Remember, crescent lunge. This knee can be down towards the floor, or you can lift that back of that kneecap up towards the ceiling and feel a little bit more stretch. Your choice. Bring your hands to your heart. Okay, are we ready? We're going to add on. Here we go. Uh, inhale first. Exhale. Extend those arms long. Inhale here. Exhale forward. Here we go. Inhale here, exhale up we go. Inhale, exhale, lean it forward, extending through that spine. Inhale here, exhale, lift it up. Don't lose the extension. Inhale here, exhale forward we go. Inhale here, exhale up we go. Now, release that hand and uh, release the leg just for a moment. Put the ball into your left hand or right hand. It doesn't matter. We're going to do both. Here we go. Extend that leg back. Open that heart up. Bring the hands back center. Open it up with the hand, the ball in the other hand. Bring it back center. Let's do that again. Open it up. And center. Last one. Open it up. And center. Bring that ball back center. Release and Face forward, pyramid pose. We're not going to use the ball on this one. We've done our back a whole lot. We're going to leave the back out this time. Extend through the spine, hands on thighs. Let that heart fall forward. Tuck the chin and roll it up. Extend through that spine. Belly is tight. Let that heart fall forward. Tuck the chin and roll it up. Last time. Here we go. Extend and hinge. Mmm. And roll it up. Beautiful. Okay. Pigeon pose. Ankle to ankle or ankle to knee. Extend through the spine. Let the heart fall forward. Keep the back flat. Feel that stretch in the hip back here. Let's roll it up. And we're going to do that one more time. Let's flutter that butterfly wing first. Are we ready? Here we go. Extend and hit. And roll it up. Very good. Place both feet on the floor. Go ahead and sit back in your chair. You can lean back if you wish. Hands are going to rest lightly on the thighs. Palms are going to face up. Close your eyes. Live this day. Life has never before been the way it is now. This is your opportunity to add a new dimension, a new level of meaning to your experience. Even a small, simple thing can be the great source of great new wonder. Even a modest action can make you more alive than you've ever been. Watch with awe and gratitude as the highest branches of trees catch a fresh breeze. What beauty, what value, what insight can you give this moment in return? A million possibilities sparkle right in front of you, 
Each one of them can add new substance to your life, to your world, to all of existence. Take full measure of what you have, of what you can do, of how you can be. See the goodness that can come from the choices you make, the words you speak, the actions you take. Look up with eyes of amazement, step forward with passion and purpose, and live this day as the magnificent treasure that it is. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with the right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with the hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with your left hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Remember to click that subscribe button and I will see you next time.